We're learning more about President Biden's visit to Fort Lauderdale next Tuesday. Meanwhile, the president is being briefed on the damage Hurricane Fiona caused in Puerto Rico and other parts of the Caribbean. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy live at the White House now with much more. Ben. Eden, Calvin, right now the White House is focused on restoring power and uh, water to the hardest hit areas by this storm and also making sure the victims have food and shelter. I'm here because Hurricane Fiona's impact, the focus of talks with FEMA Thursday, as President Biden was briefed about the ongoing federal government response. We're surging federal resources to Puerto Rico, and we'll do everything, everything we can to meet the urgent needs you have, and we know they're real and they're significant. His remarks come during a trip to New York for the U.N. General Assembly. It's there the council met amid Russia President Vladimir Putin's threat to use all means, including the possibility of nuclear weapons, if their territorial integrity is threatened. These reckless nuclear threats must stop immediately. As anti-war protests took to the streets in 38 cities cross-country in Russia. More than 1,400 protesters arrested following an announcement to mobilize reinforcements for the war. 300,000 reservists to hold the line at the front. We cannot, we will not allow President Putin to get away with it. It comes as the Commander-in-Chief prepares to visit South Florida. It's in Fort Lauderdale Tuesday. He'll discuss plans to lower health care costs while protecting and strengthening Medicare along with Social Security. And we are still waiting on the details of the when and where President Biden will speak in Fort Lauderdale. In the meantime, we do know that after that event, he'll be heading to Orlando for a DNC rally. Reporting live at the White House, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News. Okay, Ben, thank you.